and weather wise, it was a little bit nicer out there today. The sunshine came back and so did the quiet conditions. We're going to continue to stay that way as we shift overnight tonight. This is a quick look at your camera in Poplar Bluff. Not a whole lot of activity going on. Enjoy it while it lasts because some changes are coming to the forecast. It's going to start to get a little bit more active as we get into the end of the week and a little bit warmer as well. Right now, you probably still want to make sure you have the jacket and the coats. We're sitting in the low to mid 30s. We've got Mount Vernon coming in at 31, Marion at 32, along with Paducah, Cape Girardeau at 34, and Sykeston still holding on to 35. The good news is your threat tracker bar is going to continue to stay nice and low as we shift overnight tonight and into Thursday. It comes up just a little bit because we do see a small chance for an isolated shower. But by Friday, that's the day that you're going to want to make sure you are staying up to date with the latest information and staying weather aware. We are tracking the potential for some strong to severe thunderstorms moving in by Friday evening. So another very active day coming our way. Quick look at the satellite and radar again for the most part we've got clear skies but check it out some of those clouds already starting to push into the region clouds are going to continue to increase as we shift overnight tonight so tomorrow not going to be quite as nice as what we saw today waking up to quite a bit of cloud cover mostly cloudy skies going to be sticking around but with that said i do think we should still see a few peaks of sunshine throughout the day before we start to see more cloud cover build back in we are tracking a very small chance for some isolated showers off into our southernmost counties as we start to get into the late afternoon and evening hours. Very, very small chances. Most of us going to be staying dry and temperature wise much warmer than we were today. We are going to be waking up to temperatures in the 30s and then highs climbing up into the upper 50s. 57 degrees for that high. Very, very breezy though. Winds out of the south could gust as high as 30 miles per hour. So if you have anything you don't want blown around, Outside, like Christmas decorations, you may want to secure them or bring them indoors. Storm Track 3 app going to be great to have on your smartphone going forward because by Friday, our next big system arrives. It starts to push in by Friday evening, bringing the chance for strong to severe thunderstorms. Now at this time, the severe storm threat, this is a look at the SPC outlook, that bright yellow color that you see across southern Illinois, southeastern Missouri, and into western Kentucky is a two on a scale of one to five. And at this time, we cannot rule out tornadoes or strong winds. So we're going to continue to track this system as we get closer, but it's looking like it could start to move in as early as 6 p.m. and move out as late as 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. And possibly we're talking about multiple rounds. So as this gets closer, it's just a forecast you want to stay up to date with. And with it being so late, you want to make sure you have multiple ways to get alerts as well. Temperature wise climbing up close to 70 before that system comes through. We'll cool down on Saturday and then we'll get some much needed quiet weather as we kick off next week, but still going to be warm even ne next week, climbing up into the 60s. Yeah, I'm like it is December, right? <laughs> Doesn't feel like it, no, but we'll take it. <laughs> All right, thank you, JC.